Okie dokie. Well, morning, everybody. Well, I had just uh, done my stream, like, last night slash this morning. Um, and there was a brand new PvP update. Uh, I think it was, like, 7.4, if I'm guessing right. Um, well, I thought I'd go ahead and, um, do kind of a quickie tutorial on how it works now. But before I continue, uh, I'm just going to have some music going in the background. This time it's going to be Dianara. Holy places are dark places. Uh... They're from, like, the southern part of South America. I think either Argentina Argentina, or Chile. One of those places. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and throw that on. Yeah, yeah I reset that. So. But uh, one, big, uh, one big change is now uh, every day... Two kingdoms are going to be uh, selected, uh, this case being blue, and the other one being Stormheim. I'm staying the hell away from there. So, okay, like I said, every day, um, it's called Blood Frenzy. Yeah, two regions per day, but never a central spire. Um, enemy, enemies that you fight in these regions, uh, they get a 50% uh, stat, stat buff. But you also get double the victory points and um and have twice as many silver marks. So and then um on top of that each place is gonna have uh four of these obelisks. Like you pick one, you can choose, you know, recover three life at the start of each turn. But in order to do that, um it's actually going to be easier to just over here on the far left. I'm hoping you guys can see it here. Ah, here we are. And then up to three times a day, a Valhawk will appear. Will appear in one of your battles. Uh, defeating that Valhawk, I think, gets you two uh, monoliths. And then um, you got a whole bunch of buffs. Uh, many colors and styles to choose from. I started... Um, I picked one, one of the ones that I picked. Uh, you gain magic at the start of the battle. Um, I just, uh, I think I maxed it out. Everybody starts with six magic at the start of battle. Um, most of these buffs... I don't care much for. Maybe something like Doom Shrine, double skull damage against stunned enemies. Um, extra skull damage uh, versus bosses. I'm not even sure how that works based on my ascension. Okay, here. Go three to five, four to six, five to seven. I'd have to look into this one. I'm kind of wondering whose ascension are we talking about? Are we talking about the the hero on my team or one of my troops? Not too sure on that one. But like I said, during my stream, I um I don't remember exactly which one I picked. I think it might have been this one. One hour duration to this buff in all PvP battles. So, but, uh, kind of on the downside, though. You still gotta, you still gotta win the battles in whatever kingdom you find it in. Like, I found, uh, I found gaining magic at the start of the battle here in the Blue Kingdom, which is fairly easy. But, um, if you were to try, say, a, a pretty bad kingdom like a Stormheim. Life at the start of the battle, not that great. Um, extra skull damage to frozen enemies, depending on what you got. Yeah, that could be pretty good. But, um... Okay, so... It won't show, so... You know, and you have... A 
not quite as good team like this. And the uh, if you were trying to max out a certain buff, I think it can go as high as 300, level 300. Not the kind of battle I'd want to do with a team like this. So, so trying to get them isn't that easy. But yeah, again, a quick uh, it, it's almost easier doing it like this, like a handy dandy reference chart, I guess. And I think they even have a uh, central spire in here. But again, I have to... Oh, and uh, you can you can buy more monoliths. But the problem is, is they cost gold marks. I think I talked about this during my stream. For, for what you get out of it, it, to me, is actually pretty reasonably priced. I mean, at only uh, 10 gold, but even then, I'd rather spend the gold marks on books. On the books. You know, I'm, I kind of wish you could, uh, I kind of wish you could spend silver marks. I have an easier time getting those than I do the gold ones. Maybe someday, either they'll make this an option, you can, like, uh, purchase with 10 gold marks or, like, 50 silver or something like that. Um, there was another one. There's another buff that I, I think would probably be a pretty useful one. Almost found it. I guess if you could, um, this is almost what, um, what classes like Slayer, I think Sunspear has it as well, but this is not as potent. Deal double uh, skull damage versus burning enemies. Um, Sunspear and Slayer, you don't get those until you get the class to level 100. That could take quite a while, but as an alternative, you'll get something like this. Find if you got a team that can uh, that can uh, burn enemies, especially if you can curse them beforehand, you know, force them to burn on them. Something like this could be a good alternative. Otherwise, you're going to have to get those classes to uh, level 100. Same thing here. This is another... This could be another good one. If you got a... If you got a team... That can uh, freeze all enemies... This is another one. This good one right here. Especially for the uh, long battles, gain one magic when an ally casts a spell. It's the uh, it's the arcane trait. I think uh, Queen Beatrix has it. Oh, and also, um, defeating three battles, you also get a uh, double victory points. But I'm not sure if that stacks up with the uh, Blood Frenzy Kingdom or whatever they're called. Yeah, Blood Frenzy. I'm not sure if uh, if the two stack. Is that uh, in case I didn't say earlier? Um, yeah, enemies. Uh, enemies in Blood Frenzy areas get a uh, 50 percent more stats, but you get um. Uh, you get double the victory points, and you get double the silver marks. And then, um, something else they added, too. It, it kind of helps for areas that have region bonuses. If you go in here, it actually tells you how many you need to complete. Because this was kind of a, it was kind of a pain in the butt. You had to back out of the screen just to find out how many you had left. 
Uh, but one other thing I wish they would have, uh, one other quality of life thing I wish they would have improved on. Nope. You, uh, you can't, you can't pick, you can't pick a team from your normal list. You still have to, I still have to go on my notepad and have to do the copy-paste Olympics. Going back and forth, like if there's a, if I needed a special team to defeat another special team, I'd have to go on my notepad, copy the team code, go back in here, and then copy it back. But, nope. Skull damage against bosses. Um, this could be a good one. Uh, mainly for, uh, it's mainly just going to be for uh, Central Spire, where you'll see bosses more often. This is uh, another good one. Getting magic, getting magic at the start of battle. Um, this one, Especially if you're doing like high tier content up against the uh, tough battles. I mean, you know, when a. When, say, uh, Web Spinner, when he's already gonna deal triple skull damage to you, the uh, 18 life, that's pretty much gonna be small potatoes compared to the kind of damage they're gonna be dealing. Covered everything. I want to go all the way over here again. Or did I go past it? Yeah, here it is. Where's it at? Winner's Reach. Oh yeah, but like, like I said, you still have to. It's not gonna be that easy. You still have to complete the battles, and for something like this. Again, it starts at it starts at level 20. I think the highest highest battle you can go for the for the top one here is level 300. But for for the for this kind of team, no, not you know, not when Blood Frenzy is active. They're already getting 50% stats. No. I've just been, uh, I mean, today is my lucky day. This is my favorite kingdom, blue. short work of that so and then you saw there 210 victory points now another thing I need to talk about okay so double victory points that's great on uh, the downside though unless I'm wrong about this and um the chosen kingdoms are different for each player everybody else also has it also has access to the blue kingdom which means day two are going to be getting off uh, double points. Let's see how. Yeah, I got knocked on to third. Yeah, Roman. Never seen the guy before. He just pops out of nowhere and all of a sudden gets off uh, 470 battles and he's at off uh, 49. So we're gonna cry foul on that one. We got 550 here. I think she's been up here for a while though. Like I said, never seen him though. So, but yeah. So with some of these, uh, some of these guys that are using botted or shared accounts, that just means they're gonna, 
they're gonna get their insanely high victory points twice as fast. So, so, uh, so competitively, it doesn't really mean deadly squat. The only roll upside of the uh, double victory points is to just get you to, it'll just get you to 6,500 quicker. I forgot to say oh and you can buy gold marks here not a fan you just get a you just get a measly 50 for 10 bucks no and I've already got I think and I already have the weekly glory troop to the uh, max rarity so this is one where you where they string you along eight bucks but it's 170 uh, gold marks total, but you're not getting all that one at once. It's like this is like the uh, it's like the lottery microtransaction. They don't give you the lump sum; they just give you a little bit over, yeah, like 10 per day. So again, for uh, at my level, we gotta spend the gold marks on the books. But to kind of reiterate. 10 gold for this, I think it's actually pretty reasonable. But, again, for somebody like myself, I'd rather spend it on books. That's why I, I said earlier, maybe they should have like an all, all, like an alternate payment with like silver marks, which are a lot more easier to acquire than gold ones. You know, like maybe like 50, 50 silver or something. Because... Aside from getting the, um, getting this, the only other way to get gold marks, wrong one, is by getting in the top three here, because then you get 90, 100, 120. So. Ah, uh, but otherwise, uh, that's going to do it for me. I think I covered everything, so. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.